here at Woodside Plantation. We're out in front of my house in the Canadian geese are landing and we're going to go take a look and see if our beautiful little bluebirds have uh, they built their nest last week and now we'll see how they're doing as far as laying some eggs. It's seven o'clock in the morning and Suge and I are out on our uh, four mile walk and today's project is to take a look and see how the bluebirds are doing laying their eggs. Right Suge? That's my boy. There's at least a hundred bluebird boxes scattered throughout Woodside Plantation and uh, I have built quite a few of them myself and uh, it's always fun to open up one of your little houses and see uh, some babies in there. So we're gonna we're looking for eggs now. Here we go. Okay, here we are. Let's take a look and see what we got going inside here. Oh, it's a beautiful nest. And up oh, there's some bluebird eggs inside. How about that? We'll leave this alone now for another month. And then when we look inside, there'll be four babies. Okay, Mama, you can come home. Here's a brand new box put in about four months ago. I've been leaving it alone. We'll take a look and see if anything's going on inside. Sometimes it, it takes a year before they... Uh, uh, get accustomed to it and start to build a nest. The trails are marked here in uh, Woodside. Uh, Shuggy and I enjoy the Oakman Trail and because it's close to our home and uh, we're on the Oakman Trail today. Beautiful walkway through this Oakman Trail. Listen to the birds. Come on along, we're checking out the bluebird houses. Hundreds of birds singing this morning. And beautiful azaleas blooming all over. It's a beautiful time of year out here. I enjoy building uh, the bluebird houses out of scrap wood that I find being thrown away. And I just cut it up and build a little house. Beautiful azaleas. March. 2018. I've dedicated this uh, bird sanctuary to my mother-in-law who loved nature and who was a great nature photographer for the National Geographic Society and the United States of America and her name is Priscilla Cannell. There's one of my homemade blue bird boxes that has eggs in it right now so I'm leaving her alone. Scrap wood. Bluebird boxes I built years ago out of scrap wood and it's still here and it's produced at least 50 babies and they keep returning and we clean it out and they make new nests and come in there and fill it up with down and have some more babies. And on the on the side you know what I have written home for rent. God bless America.